Hi, Rob. It's me. Okay, Stu. Uh, <laughs> I want to explain what I did. You know, the whole um, having sex with my director thingy. Uh, I'm putting this video on YouTube so that, like, I because I just want you to see it. <laughs> yes, I did sleep with uh, R R Rupert Sanders. Um, the director of my movie, Snow White and the Thor, um, but <laughs> I have a really good explanation for why uh, we did it. Uh, explanation number one, <laughs> on the first day of filming Snow White and the Midgets, like, Rupert came up to me and he was like, I like to get to know my actors. And in order to truly get to know my actors, I sleep with them, all of them. Now this relaxes them and they give better performances for it. You want to give a good performance, yes? And he said that Martin Scorsese, uh, he did the same thing with Goodfellas, which is why the fellas are so good. <laughs> and a couple days after we did sex, I asked Thor if he enjoyed doing sex with Rupert, and he was all... I've not had sex with Rupert, or any man. And I asked Charlize Thermos, do you do sex with Rupert? What? No! Get away from me! Get... Wait, wait! Makeup girl? No. It turns out that no one had sex with Rupert, uh, just me and one dwarf. Uh, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I confronted him and said, hey bud, you lied to me and lying is like not the truth. And he was eating popcorn at the time and asked if I wanted some. It'll relax you and make you a better actor. A better actor? Yes. And I, I needed to calm down so I thought, why not? And he apologized to me while I was putting my hand around what I guess was a unmelted stick of butter. Oh, God. Is that butter? Yep. The popcorn didn't relax me, but for some reason me grabbing for it really relaxed him. Anyway, things were going good the rest of that day. No, wait. Then something super scary happened. I mean, he told me that there was a poisonous snake loose on the set and it bit him on the wiener. I need you to suck out the poison quickly. I'll do it. I'm down here anyway. No, it has to be case due. I saved someone's life, Rob. I got the poison out. There was a lot of it. So a couple of weeks goes by and everything is going great. Like, every time I'm around, the cast is always laughing. And then the third time, you, you actually told me to have sex with him. Remember that week when you came to set and you had, like, a goatee and you were a little bit fatter? Bella. Edward? The Volturi said that they would come after us if you didn't sleep with your director. I already did sleep with him. No, you have to sleep with him more. I'm gonna send him in, be naked when he gets here. Leave your shoes on, he likes that. You can't blame me for that one, that was all you, buddy. The next day was crazy. I mean, I ended up having to do sex with Rupert, like, a bunch. I mean, first we had a visit from a Make-A-Wish Foundation kid. My dying wish is for you to play Naked Twister with your director. I'll send him in. Right after we fulfilled that abnormally large kid's last wish, I got a Skype from a kidnapper. If you ever want to see your dog bear alive again, you need to have more sex with your director, Rupert Sanders. And tickle his bum once in a while. He likes that. So I did what I needed to to get Bear back. And when I got home, Bear was there waiting. So I, I saved his life too. <laughs> You're welcome, Bear. Then an absolutely tragic thing happened. I don't know if you know this, Rob, but Rupert is dying. He has this really rare disease called boneritis. It's serious. It kills men unless they have sex with Kristen Stewart. I couldn't let him die. I'm Kristen Stewart. I helped him. I hope you can see, Rob, that there is a perfectly legitimate excuse for every time I've done it with Rupert. Also, your names are very similar, so it's confusing, too. I still want to build a life with you and our vampire baby. Please call me. Oh no. <sighs> Rupert's bone right is throwing up again. I have to go. Please call me. I love you. Real